Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back again to another awesome, flavorful video that we're going to be doing tonight. I always say this. Guess what we're making? But if you read the caption, you know what we're making. This is a little piece right here that we're going to be adding on right here. This is something I wish we had gotten it in the beginning. But this is a korban salad. It's a Turkish salad. This salad has kalamata olives, ripe tomatoes, onion, um, cucumber, and a homemade olive oil-based dressing. Now, this is all just chopped up. It's all right here. It's very fresh. It's very light. It's very, it's very good with Turkish food in general. Turkish food has a lot of bread, a lot of uh, rice. But this is a very light, very crisp, very refreshing salad that they always put on, on the side. This is going to go with our dinner tonight. Our dinner tonight is not Turkish. Our dinner tonight is this chicken right here in this bag. Now, let me tell you something, you guys. I went out shopping and I found the best marinade you'll ever find for chicken. Let me show you what it is. I'll be right back. Okay, folks. Okay, folks. This is the marinade. This is the best marinade you'll ever find for chicken. We used to use this practically three, maybe four times a week. We used to get roast, the raw chickens that used to come two in a pack from Costco maybe 10, 12 years ago. In my area, this uh, marinade, this Moho, Mojo, Moho marinade was in every single store. For some reason, we have not had this in our neighborhood for like 10, 15 years. The store we used to go to to get it ran out. I found this all these years later in the most random of stores. It was in a stop and shop, I believe, in, okay, we're coming back up north. Where were we? We stopped, oh, okay, we stopped off at a Sam's Club in Elmsford. And right across down the street from Sam's Club was the stop and shop, and that's where I found this. I got two giant bottles of this, and um, I've used one bottle up on this chicken. Let me tell you, this is the best marinade for chicken. Guys, please, if you can find it, go online, order it. If you can find it in your stores, use this. Chicken is this marinade's best friend. And this is what we're going to be cooking with tonight. So you see the chicken is right here. We put it in the bag, marinated it just in the mojo. That's it. Now that bag has legs and thighs, cleaned and ready. And what's great about this is that when you have a rotisserie, it makes the chicken and the, makes the skin absolutely crispy. Even my mom liked the skin of this chicken and she is not a skin person. This stuff is going to turn out incredible. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna prep the air fryer and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the next part that we're gonna be doing. So we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, we're back. We're making our sauce right now. Now, we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you the ingredients that are gonna go into this sauce. This is gonna be a a uh, sort of a Parmesan cream of mushroom kind of a sauce. Now you have our olive oil with our onions. Yes, onions, guys, I told you, this is a channel where you can probably see onions in every single dish that we make. They're great tasting, they're medicinal, they're very good, and my family and I, especially my mom and me, we love them. So we have our, our, our onions sauteing in our olive oil. We're gonna be adding garlic powder, salt, now, I asked for cream of mushroom soup. My father brought me back creamy mushroom soup, Progresso. But I'm just gonna make it work. We're gonna have white wine. We're gonna boil the alcohol out of the white wine. We're going to have black pepper, olive oil, of course, and our Parmesan cheese. And one thing I have to get that we don't have up here, we're gonna be adding chicken broth. So I'm gonna add the ingredients bit by bit. We're gonna come right back, finish sauteing, season up the onions a little bit, throw in the white wine to begin the process of boiling the alcohol off. And then we're going to come right back and we're going to continue cooking. We'll be right back. Hey, you guys, we're back right now. My mom is taking the chicken out of the package, out of the bag that has all the marinade in it. And we're putting it inside of the air fryer. Now, as you can tell, those are some large pieces. The reason why they look larger is because I asked the, um, uh, the butcher, the market guy, to keep the legs and thighs together. It's gonna to be a better presentation. It's gonna look better, maybe that's the only reason why. But we're gonna be able to get around. We're gonna get a lot in there. And if you have to, we'll do two batches, but you can see right there how everything is being laid down. It's um, upside, it's on uh, bottom side up. You can tell right there because the bone is up. 
because at the when we flip it over, we want the skin that's going to be top side up to get a nicer crisp. So we're going to start it with the bone up, which I guess you could say will be upside down, and then we're going to cook it. They're in the air fryer. You can see at the bottom I put um, foil. When you do an air fryer, anything like this, it's always good to have foil in the bottom. It's going to be an easier cleanup. But um, there we have it right there. That's 16 pieces, actually. Eight pieces of the thigh leg combo. I'm going to put this in here. Now, I'm going to push that in. Put it all in there together. And we're going to go. Oh, hang on. Have to reset the timer really quick. And we don't, now here's the thing. You can see right there how it says 450. This is compact, so we don't need it at 450 degrees. We don't even need it at 350. We're gonna bring it down to 325 degrees Maybe starting. 375. Okay, let's put it at 325 just to start. Just to start, I'm gonna put it at 20 minutes. So I'm gonna watch it, and then we're just gonna hit the button and go. And there it is, you guys, inside there. And we're going to have a great time. And next stop is going to be our um, cream of mushroom parmesan cheese sauce. We'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I added some of the salt. I added a little salt, garlic powder. I added some of the black pepper as well. And you can see the spices that have the tendency to absorb the liquid that is in there. So we reduce the, um, we only add it around a little under a cup of the white wine, boil it off. Now we have this that's left, nice caramelized flavor for onion. Now we're gonna add in the mushroom soup here. Yep, hand is empty. And now we're just gonna stir this. We're gonna stir this some more, get everything um, incorporated here. I'm gonna add a little bit more spice. We're then going to add in Parmesan cheese and chicken broth. And then we're gonna come right back, okay, you guys? So we'll be back in a little bit. Careful. Okay, you guys, this is the next part. Our sauce is just about done. We're going to add in our Parmesan and a couple of layers. So we're gonna add in a small layer here like so. Oops. Layer like so. And then we're gonna give this a quick stir to incorporate everything here. to um, marry all the flavors together, melt the cheese, get everything together. And we're gonna turn it off now because there's enough heat from the sauce and it's thick enough. And we're gonna let the heat from the sauce take care of everything else. So we're not gonna, we're just gonna heat off. Mix one more time. And that's gonna be it. We're gonna spoon this over our egg noodles. And we're gonna finish up um, off the video with a couple more segments and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're at the finishing stages, the last end of this video um, cook. And here we have our egg noodles. I skipped the part about me putting them in boiling water. I mean, let's face it, you can do pasta. You've seen it enough. You don't need me to show you. What we have in here are the finished egg noodles and a little stuff right there. That is my herb butter that we're going to toss the egg noodles in. And then we're going to mix that with this sauce. We'll come right back in a few seconds and show you that combination. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gents, this is the finished product right here. This is our chicken leg and thigh mojo marinated chicken cooked in an air fryer. This is our egg noodles with a homemade mush cream of mushroom with white wine parmesan sauce. We mixed in a bag of frozen vegetables right here from Cost from a Walmart for 99 cents. So we have peas and carrots and green beans right in here as well. But you guys, this is the finished product right here. I hope it looks appetizing. I hope it looks very good. Remember once again, in the description box below will be all the ingredient list and the amounts. And you guys, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for the shadow. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we hope to see you guys soon. And we hope you will see us again really soon as well. Thanks for watching. As my mom says, bon appetit.